something to the wind turbines as long as it's not on the base? As long as it's not on the base, I the base itself is what you guys want to touch on, right? Correct. Yeah. You're being a good person. Like a tree on there or something? I'm wondering if you could connect it to your wind turbine someplace and it's higher up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't. Off the top of my head, I don't see a reason why not. Um, modifying a game piece. I don't think so. You think about putting these two together and putting a strip across them to hold them together and then pushing them out, for example. Right. Um, I don't think there'd be a problem with that. I don't think there would be. We should put that in the Q&A and see. Just to be sure. But yeah, uh, whether that would, would qualify as modifying a, a mission piece, I'm not sure. I don't think there'd be a problem, but we'll, we'll check on it and see. Okay. Uh, other deliverable things. Uh, one is called the Hydro Dam, and that has to be placed so that each end touches the white on each side of the river to the east of base. So it has to touch white on each side. Again, even that would be okay because it's touching white on each side of the, of the river to the east of base. And then you get points for that. At the end of the match, the referee will check to see where does the what will be flooded after the, the dam is in place. You get a penalty if you your dam touches a house or if the flood would touch a house. Like that, for example. And there's a 40 point? No. I never remember it. Ten point deduction if any houses are being touched by the dam or the flood. What about the corn that's absolutely acceptable? But this, these. If the, the if the water touches these, that's yeah, If it touches the corn, that's okay. It all touches the house. Gotcha. Well, houses are the only penalty. And for touching both sides, does the whole end piece have to be on both sides? No. Or does it literally just need to be touching the other side? Like that, that would be touching. Okay. Yeah, any part of it on that piece is touching it now. What if it flood the railway? There's no mention of the railroad, so that's okay. <laughs> so if you did it like that, so it would flood the railroad, that would be okay. It's the only the house that's in front of uh, Let's see. Other thing, power lines. Grid connection, it's called. This has to be in a place where the, the power lines touch the, the power plant property and then have to connect to other communities, white communities. So here's a community with houses on it. This is a community with houses, there's one. And they, they score points for each community. It's five points for each community. So this would be five points plus it's five points, or ten points here. And then in addition, each connected community that is in turn touching a scoring hydro dam or scoring wind turbine is worth an added five points. So this is a connected community. If I have a wind turbine there, I get points for having put the wind turbine there and points for having it touching, being a connected community. But yeah. <laughs> and then you can have the dam there. The scoring thing is going to be a pain. Right? And if the mm -hmm. dam were there, the dam, yes, that would be an that additional would be even more Minus the house. <laughs> right. So, that, so it would have been yeah. right. There you go. Yes. But then it flood this house. Uh, the, 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 no, 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 because it goes no. in that direction. It goes upstream. It would flood the house. The, the no. dam. Okay. No, it's like, it would flood the mom. It's not like that. It's gotcha. perpendicular to the dam against it. So take this piece off and have it like push it right into the base. Yeah, most people do. Duffy. Duffy. Okay. Uh, planting trees. You can now plant trees in any area north of the main river. So north of the main river. Anywhere over here, any of these white areas, the trees must be upright and they're worth 10 points each. Uh, they can, it explicitly states, pieces may be connected or attached to the trees. So you could conceivably bring a little base like this and stick your trees all onto it and slide it out there. So if the base of the tree doesn't have to touch, the whole Correct. tree just has to be in that area. Yeah, move trees to any area north of the main river. It doesn't say touching any area, it says move it to any area north of the main river. And it says 
may be connected or attached to the trees. So they're worth 10 points each. What is... Oh, okay. okay. We'll get there. Okay. Now, to the power plant. We talked about the, the power line. The grid connection has to connect to the, the property of the power plant. You also need to deliver fuel to the power plant, and that can be in the form of the black coal okay. from the, the coal car here. Once you've brought it down and lifted it into the base, then you take, take out the black coal. You can do that by hand. Take out the coal. Okay. Put it back. Okay. That would be modifying the game piece. Not allowed in the real world. It's fine. So you take out at least half of the black pieces and somehow put them on your computer robot and it would go out and deliver them somewhere on the property of the, the power plant. And that would give you 10 points for having at least half of the black coal there. Green uranium is worth 10 points each, so if you brought them back over to base, or, or get them there somehow. But they, even if you push them straight over there, that's fine. Or bring them to base, take out the red one, send them back out, whatever you want to do. It. Uh, no, it just says move the fuel to the power plant's property, so it can be lying on its side. The trees have to be planted upright. And the wind turbines have to be upright. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Now, the, you can also send out white oil barrels, these white oil barrels, to the power plant. Those are worth five points each. Um, it was pointed out they're worth less points out there than they are when they're sitting in base. So, let's think about that. Yeah. But, if you get them out there, then they can't be taken away if you touch the robot. So, there's a safety to put them there, but you only get fewer points for them. So once you move stuff out there, then you have to navigate around it. Uh, the statement, once you move stuff out there, you have to navigate around it. Um, no, the dam, you have to navigate. You notice on the dam, it says the dam is never considered a stray object. That means if I place the dam where it is right now, and then I say to the referee, I need to get to the uranium, please move the dam for me. They can't do it. Uh, however, a wind turbine, since it's not stated explicitly, a wind turbine would be considered a stray object. So if I ask them to move the wind turbine so I can get the power, the fuel to the, the power plant, the referee can move it there. It doesn't change the scoring, and then I can move it out of the way, and I can now get access to it. So read the things about stray objects in the rules, and they can move it, or you can move it yourself, as long as you don't change the score. Sure. Okay. But it's best to ask the referee to do it, and they'll, tell you, they'll do it for you. Okay. Yeah, the safest thing is check with the referee first. Okay. But again, the dam is never considered a stray object. Once it's there, it can't be touched by anybody. Okay, anything else? Uh, the thing about the trees, you can also deliver the trees to the power plant as fuel, but for every tree that you put as fuel, you have to plant one. So, plant meaning put onto a white area upright, get a white area north of the main river. Not okay. on a base or on a base is okay? Uh, on a base is still okay. Yeah. You plant it, meaning put out there the way you talked about before, but. It's worth an equal number of points either way. Ten points are being planted, or ten points are being delivered as fuel, but two have to be planted also. So, excuse me. They don't. They don't uh, fuel doesn't matter. You can deliver them as fuel like that. That's okay. But planted, they have to be upright. And they have to be upright at the end of the two and a half minutes. If the robot comes by later and knocks it over, you lose the point. Okay. Another thing is, if they point out if any red fuel gets delivered to the power plant, you don't get any points for any of the fuel delivered. So if you deliver the uranium, and then later you deliver a red piece of coal, you don't get the uranium 